Now this isn't time lapse. This is actual. Um, this is real time. So all this you're seeing is not sped up or anything. It's not special effects or nothing. This is. It's pretty busy up there. And I'm getting the most beautiful shots I could possibly get. This is out of uh, East Columbus, Ohio, July 1st, I think it's at 9 something at night, 9.30ish p.m. This just started about five minutes ago when we had two, um, two really close hits. I don't know how close they were, but there, there was no time between the flash and the thunder, so it was pretty darn close. Again, this is not sped up. There's no uh, special photography, no nothing. This is, as it's happening right now live, this is not sped up or anything. This is actual uh, actual weather as it's happening. more lightning bolts are coming out of this side. This is the most intense storm I've ever seen in Ohio. I remember one in Montana back in 99. It was something like this, but not this, uh, not this constant of, uh, lightning barrages as it is now. So whatever's going on up there, it's pretty darn intense. Waiting for that thunder to come back. It's going to be pretty loud after all that. And it's not raining as much as you would think of uh, this kind of electric uh, storm going. Actually, it's kind of light considering the activity up there. I want to send a hi and a thanks to Jamie over in Worthington, one of my best friends. Um, we were talking on Facebook, and when it started, he showed me the uh, NOAA map, and uh, seeing that, I was like, well, I'm going to go outside and catch that, because that looks pretty intense. And, uh, intense is an understatement at this point. It might sound like a downpour, it really isn't. That's just a gazebo. The rain's hitting off the gazebo makes it sound like that. iPhone can capture all that light. But uh, we'll see.
probably a good time to mention um, you should always have emergency stuff in your home like candles and battery operated radio and stuff like that so uh, if you didn't think about it before you might want to consider that now For emergencies like this I'm actually surprised the power's still on local cable company so I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of service problems this evening. And now the rain starts to come down pretty good. mention uh, those power strips and surge suppressors you folks have they're pretty useless in a storm of this capacity um, I've always recommended getting a battery backup because uh, those are designed to uh, take the hit of uh, electric frequencies known as joules that a uh, surge suppressor and a power strip are pretty much useless against Sign up because I'm starting to get wet and these bugs are eating me alive. So, on behalf of Jamie, our storm spotter chaser guy in Worthington, and yours truly, Anthony Perez, live from East Columbus, we're going to sign off here and enjoy this the safety of inside the house. <laughs>